Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? If you or anyone in your family seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then apparently Hasbro has your back with this. This here is the new Ghostbusters Spinglers Neutrona wand made by Hasbro. This is actually from Ghostbusters Afterlife, unfortunately. Thanks to the Rona, we didn't get to see it this year and it has been postponed to next year. However, it's really cool that Hasbro went ahead and released this item. I'm really, really excited. It's been sitting in my office for about a week now. Uh, I actually was planning on ordering it online, but unfortunately they were back ordered. And if you order directly through Hasbro, a lot of people are having issues. So I actually decided just to make a quick run to my local GameStop and it was sitting right on the shelf and I was super pumped about it and I went ahead and picked it up and I'm ready to unbox this thing. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed. First off, I wanna talk about the packaging. The box is actually pretty large. I do really like the design of it though. It looks like an old toolbox and it's got the yellow hazard tape right at the top here. Really like that on the sides. Again, we have the hazard tape with the Ghostbusters logo and that is on both sides of the box. Uh, we also have this little sleeve here that tells us more about the product. I have not seen a single review or even picture of this thing, so this is completely new to me. I didn't want to find out any information on this, so uh, this is a real reaction to opening this thing. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. Going to slide off this little sleeve here, and now we can get a closer look at the cool toolbox design. I really like that. So it looks like we've got about four pieces of tape holding it together. So I'm going to use my knife here. Go ahead and cut this open. Ah, uh, so excited. It's been sitting in my office for quite some time and I've been wanting to open it, but I want to do it on camera. So, all right, let's go ahead and open up this lid here. Oh, it looks like it comes out this way. So I'm going to rotate it and show you guys first. Oh. oh, here it is. It is open. Oh, oh this, this looks so freaking cool, guys. Hold on, let me, let me tilt this down here so you can see it in the box. Wow, that is incredible. They really packaged this nicely. This looks great. I'm gonna get some close-up shots of this as well. But let's go ahead and continue with the unboxing. So we'll go ahead and get the accessories out of the way first. Uh, let's see here. It's just a little baggie. It looks like these are little mounting parts for. Oh, all right. Okay, all right. Yeah, it looks like these are just little uh, mounting points. Maybe if you want to display it. Not really quite sure yet, but I'm going to set these over to the side. So there is that. And then, oh, and we also have instructions. I actually kind of needed those. So let's see here. Yep. Yeah. It looks like all of this goes to a display, but anyway, I want to go ahead and take out the actual Neutrona wand. So here we go. Go ahead and slide this forward. And it looks like it just lifts out. Oh, oh I'm so excited guys. This is amazing. All right. So we've got some just protective stuff over it. Let's go ahead and take all this off. Maybe. Oh, in order not to break it, I think I'm going to have to, so I am having to rip some of the box to get it all the way out, but we are finally getting there. Got to remove this tie right here. And then we've got the last piece holding it together, which is just another box. And here it is. Here it is, guys. The new Spangler's new Trona wand from Ghostbusters Afterlife. I am really, really impressed by the quality of this. Uh, it is a little light, but honestly, it still has some good weight to it. I love the detail. I love the, uh, the paint on this wood section here. Looks really good. I also really love the clipper that we have on here. Looks just like the original one. I really love that. And the actual clipper cap is metal, believe it or not. A lot of these parts are metal and they do move around. Also at the bottom, it does have a clip. So if you did want to mount this on a proton pack, you can. I could definitely see a lot of people doing some modifications to this and mounting it to their pack. 
I actually might do that myself. Um, anyway, so far I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, all the buttons are metal and have good feel to them. So it does require three AAA batteries. Luckily I do have some right here. And apparently we open up this bottom part of the actual handle. And I think this is where you insert the battery. So, or the batteries. So this is the part that you actually insert the batteries in. All right, one, two, let's see, and three. So all three batteries are inserted. Let's go ahead and put this back. Looks like it goes in this way. We'll screw the cap back on. We should be able to power it up. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it this way and I think it's this button right here. It's on! Oh my gosh, I can't wait. All right, so let's see. Let's see what this button does. All right, this turns on the top lights here. That looks fantastic. Let's see here. Let's press the activate button. Oh, it vibrates, guys. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's making a really cool, like, proton hum. Oh, this is so cool, guys. We've got the blinking lights. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's blinking on the top there. Wow. This is so cool. Real quick, though, I do want to put together the actual display here. So here's the base. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, here is the base. Thank goodness I didn't lose these instructions because I need them. All right, the base is assembled. It was pretty straightforward, but let's go ahead and mount the wand on here. There it is. Also, it did come with this little adapter that I think actually connects at the bottom of the handle here to where you can actually hook this up to a proton pack if you wanted to. So I want to go ahead and test that out real quick just to make sure that I am right on here. So, yep. That's exactly what it is. So you can screw this on instead. And now you can hook up a hose and bam, it can be your official wand for your proton pack. All right, now that all of that is out of the way, it's time to actually play around with this thing and figure out all of its bells and whistles. So I'm going to rotate this around so you guys can see actually what I'm doing here. So here's the on button. And let's see what else we've got here. We've got the activate button. So that is right here at the handle. It is, it's, it's like vibrating my entire table. This is, this is so awesome. Anyway, uh, it says you can actually mess around with this dial here. So I don't know what it actually does. So let's see. All right. It's not doing anything quite yet, but let's go ahead and play around with some more buttons here. All right. Again, got our lights back on here. So let's see if I turn this now. Oh. Oh, it's increasing the, I guess, the volume or the sound. It's making it sound different. Let me go ahead and bring this closer to the mic here. So the hum is changing. All right, future Amanda here. And I wanted to show you guys, kind of in low light, all the different effects of this awesome Neutrona wand. So to power it on, press this button here. There's the light effects. And again, this kind of adjusts the different vibrations of the actual wand here. And then swing around here. You've got our intensify and activate button. So let's go ahead and activate it. can see a little bit of light here and this here changes the different modes to get the proton stream here you have to hold down the intensify button and this here can actually collapse when you push all the way this all the way in that collapses like that Go ahead and power it back on here. And 
And then to make this expand, you press this little green level lever. So I think this is your basic proton stream. And then this is slime mode. This here is like a froze mo a freeze mode. interesting sound for that one. And this one here must be a uh, fire mode. Oh, this is like a blaster mode. That's really cool. So yeah, guys, that is a close-up of all the really cool effects that it can do. Well, guys, I am really, really happy with this. This is going to look great in my... Ghostbusters collection. And currently the price for one of these is $99.99. You can go ahead and pick it up at GameStop if you like, like I did. And I think you can order it on the Hasbro website. But like I said, a lot of these are back ordered currently. So if you're lucky and you can see one at your local GameStop, I would recommend grabbing it. Uh, this is gonna be worth some money in the future. Originally, a Mattel came out with one and it's worth a lot of money now. So definitely get your hands on one if you're a big Ghostbusters fan like I am. Anyways, that is it for this video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get an alert every time I make a video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.